Topic 8, Lesson 1, Arrays and Multiplying Two-Digit Numbers. Well, so far, you've used arrays to multiply with multiples of 10 and one-digit numbers. In this lesson, you're going to use arrays to find the product of two-digit numbers. The standard is to multiply a whole number of up to four digits by one-digit whole number and multiply two digits two two-digit numbers using strategies based on place value and the properties of operations. And of course we can illustrate and explain the calculation by using equations, rectangular arrays, and of or area models. Mathematical practices, we're going to reason abstractly and quantitatively. We're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. Model with mathematics use appropriate tools and strategy uh, strategically, and look for and make use of structure. Our focus is how can arrays help you multiply two-digit numbers? Let's take a look. Let's say a theater has 14 rows of seats with 23 seats in each row. How many seats are in the theater? So let's take a look at that again. The theater has 14 rows of seats with 23 seats in each row. How many seats are in the theater? So that's our question. And really what we're going to do is 14 times 23. And there's a couple ways of doing this. You could look at it 14 times 23 and multiply it out using a long algorithm. So we have this and we can try and figure it out you know by 14 times 23 equals what? Let's find Let's try it this way. What if we were to take these numbers, we're going to take 14 and 23, and we're actually going to split it up. So the 14 really becomes 10 and 4, and the 23 becomes 20 and 3. And that's really what we did here. We took the 14, it becomes 10 and 4, so we got 14, and then we have the 23, which is 20 and 3. So. If we were to go ahead and add up all of this, we could go through this whole section here and add up every single one of them. And what you're really going to come up with is 10 times 20, which is 200. And if you go 10 times 3, you get 30. And if you take 4 times 20, you're going to get 80. And 4 times 3, you're going to get 12. And here, we just go ahead and add it up. We're going to get 200 plus 80, which is 280. And 30 plus 12, we're going to get 242. Add that together, 280 plus 42. And we get 322. And that's our answer. And that was used in an array. We can use the standard algorithm. We can do 4 times 3, which is 12. And then 3 times, not 1, but really it's 10. So you get 30. And of course, then if you come over here, you get 20 times 4, which is 80. And 20 times 10, you get 200. Add it up. We got 4, here's 12, and look at that. We get the same answer as the other page. We get 322 here, and 322 there. Either way works, whatever way works best for you. This is using an array, and this is using expanded algorithm. Alright, now try some on your own. Good luck.